Hello everyone. You are watching Top Capables another video until the end to learn how to add music from computer to iPhone 14, 14 Pro, 14 Pro Max. So you've upgraded to the lineup of iPhone 14 and you are thinking of taking your favorite songs from your computer. Now we're going to show you how you can add songs to the iPhone on both a PC or Mac. First, we need to clarify that Apple Syncs purchased items between iTunes or Mac Music app and your iPhone easily. However, if you have songs outside of Apple and that were not bought from iTunes Store, the process isn't straightforward, but it's possible. We're able to achieve the task of adding non-purchased songs from a PC or Mac to the iPhone 14, and this requires an extra step. Basically, the first step we'll need to do is to get the songs you have on your computer to the library of iTunes or Mac Music app. And then, step number two is to grab these songs from the library to your iPhone 14. The end result is that the transferred music saves to the music app on the iPhone. If you do not want to fiddle with iTunes or you failed to add your tracks, consider trying iPhone Data Transfer Tool from AppGeeker. It gives you more flexibility for music transfer without syncing. You can find the download link in the description below if you're interested in it. Alright, we're gonna take the songs from a Windows PC and put them on the iPhone 14. Go to your PC and open the latest version of iTunes. To check it out, click Help from the menu bar at the top, then choose Check for Updates. If it's out of date, iTunes should update itself. If you do not have iTunes, Download it from apple.com slash iTunes slash. Now we come to the first step of dragging and dropping the songs from computer hard drive to iTunes library. Locate the songs on your computer. You can, like me, put the music files on your desktop. I have four songs here. In iTunes Windows, navigate to Library section on the left column, then click Songs tab to enter Media Library. As you can see, my library is empty. To add those songs from PC Desktop to iTunes Library, select them and drop them right into the main interface. Now all songs are put inside iTunes. You can now see my four songs here. Alright, folks, now that we've brought song from the computer to iTunes, the step number two is just to get the song from iTunes to iPhone 14 device. Okay. Connect the iPhone to your computer using the original lightning cable. Tap trust on your device when asked. When it's connected successfully, you should see a tiny device icon here located at the upper left corner of iTunes window. Go ahead to click the device icon. You'll be guided to the pane including the device information. Scroll down to option section, check off the automatically sync when this iPhone is connected if it's already on. Then select manually manage music and videos to enable it. Click apply button at the bottom. When you've done this, click the back arrow at the top right corner to return to your music library. Make sure you're inside the songs tab under library. All preparations are done. Next, the rest thing is to take the songs back onto iPhone 14. To do this, select all four songs in the library, then right-click on the selections, select Add to Device, and then click on your iPhone from the menu. That's it. The songs are transferred over. You can check the progress at the top to see if all songs you just added from computer to iTunes have been added. You can also drag the selections to your iPhone under the Devices section on the left panel, and then release. Now, a notice here for some of guys facing the problem in this step. If you've synced your iPhone with another iTunes library on a different computer, you'll get a warning that all content on your device will be replaced with the content on the computer. So make sure you're using your own computer before you make the transfer. Okay, now, when the transfer process is done, we come to the Devices section and select Music tab. As you can see, all of the four songs have been imported to the library on iPhone. The music also appears in the music app on your iPhone. So this is how you can transfer a song from Windows PC and add it to your iPhone 14. Now, we're gonna show you the steps of taking music from a Mac and dropping it to your device. On Mac with Mac OS 10.15 or later, you need to use music app to complete the task. 
If you're using an older Mac machine, follow the steps of using iTunes that we just discussed. Alright, first, we open Finder. Then plug your iPhone 14 to your Mac with USB cable. Once it's connected, select your device from the sidebar on the left. Under General tab, go to Options section at the bottom. If Automatically Sync when this iPhone is connected is enabled, deselect it. Then to make copying songs to your iPhone 14 possible, make sure that Manually Manage Music and Videos is checked. Click Apply button and the Close Finder. OK, what we need to next is Launch Music App from which we can do the transfer. Likewise, we need to add the songs to Music App first. Click Songs tab under Library on the left side. Then select and drag your songs from the desktop or any location of your Mac to the library. This should finish in a few seconds. Next, put the music you just added from Mac to Music onto the iPhone. In the library, select each item you want to sync then right-click on the selection. From the menu that shows up, choose Add to Device, and then click your iPhone. The transfer begins instantly. Do not unplug your device until the syncing process is completed. All your selected music tracks are copied over to your iPhone 14's music app. Just grab your device and open music app to check the content there. That's it guys. It's generally two simple steps to bring your songs to an iPhone. I hope that this guide helped you out in adding songs to an iPhone 14 from a PC or Mac. If you have any question, let me know down in the comment section below. It's time to wrap up this video. So if you're enjoyed watching it, please do press the like button. And if you want the latest iPhone tips and tricks, make sure you hit the subscribe button followed that notification bell. I will see you guys really soon. Bye bye.